Do you know what the most popular wine in the world is? Actually, it's Chardonnay. Because Chardonnay wine is so popular, we're going to teach you everything you need to know as a beginner about Chardonnay wine. Stay tuned, because today we're going over what Chardonnay is, what regions it comes from, what to look for when choosing a Chardonnay, and if you stick around until the end, we'll go over our recommendations for the best Chardonnay. Coming up. So similar to our other beginner wine videos, if you haven't seen them before, check one of them out up above. We're going to keep the same category so it's easier for you to compare one wine to another wine. So what exactly is Chardonnay? So Chardonnay wine comes from the Chardonnay grape. And the Chardonnay grape is one of the most popular grapes to be grown throughout the world. Literally almost anywhere wine is produced, this Chardonnay grape is grown. Because of this, Chardonnay wine is one of the most popular wines throughout the world. Chardonnay comes from a green grape varietal that actually originated in a small village known as Chardonnay, France. Chardonnay means place of thistles, and it's actually one of the most popular grapes used in making champagne. Chardonnay can come creamy, buttery, and nutty, or it can come crisp, earthy and delicate depending on what region it's grown in and whether it's oaked or unoaked. Now flavors can range from tropical and warmer climates to green tree fruit notes and citrus notes in cooler climates. And Chardonnay is really known for having a golden color. The way we like to remember Chardonnay is it's typically a lot bolder as compared to other white wines, especially if it has been soaked within those oak barrels. So what are the best regions to buy a Chardonnay from? So Chardonnay originated in the Burgundy region of France, but now it's produced all over the world. Now when you're looking for a Chardonnay, you want to consider whether you prefer oaked or unoaked Chardonnay. And again, that refers to whether the Chardonnay itself was soaked in oak barrels or wasn't soaked in oak barrels, because that can affect its taste. So if you prefer the flavor of Chardonnay that was oaked, you want to look for regions like California, Burgundy, or Australia. If you prefer Chardonnay wine that was unoaked or not soaked in oak barrels, you want to look for Chardonnay from New Zealand, Chile, or regions of France outside of Burgundy. And just as a fun fact, C.H. Wente was a German immigrant who cloned the Chardonnay grape from Burgundy in 1912 in California. And now that accounts for 80% of all Chardonnay grapes in the US today. Wait, if you're new to our channel, consider subscribing. It really helps us get content to you guys every week. Don't forget to like our videos and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can get notified every time we upload new content. So what exactly should one look for when buying a Chardonnay wine? So when buying a Chardonnay wine, again, you want to go back to whether you want an oaked or an unoaked type of wine, because this will affect the flavor of the wine. So if you want an oaked type of wine, look for something that's full bodied, bold, has a lot of spices, honey, a nutty flavor, vanilla, buttery. And these types of wines will go really well with lobster, crab cake, clams, pork tenderloin, starches, and mushrooms, and it even pairs really well with brie and gruyere cheese. Now if you want more information on the best cheeses to pair with wine, check out our previous video up above. And then we have unoaked Chardonnay as well. An unoaked Chardonnay typically tastes a bit more fresh and crisp and usually has a bit of a zip to it as well. With unoaked Chardonnay, you'll typically get a lot more green fruit flavors. So green apple is a very typical flavor of unoaked Chardonnay. Unoaked Chardonnay will taste a lot more similar to Pinot Grigio and Sauvignon Blanc, but it won't have that grassy taste to it. And unoaked Chardonnay goes really well with raw seafood, fish, and chicken. So when you're cooking with these types of wines, you wanna keep the spice and the flavor level low in order to complement the full bodiness and the boldness of the wine. Another thing you want to keep in mind, especially if you're going to be going to buy a Chardonnay from the store, is if it says Chablis on the label, it means it's a Chardonnay. Also, if it says Blanc de Blanc on the label, that means it's actually a 100% Chardonnay wine. 
So let's get into our Chardonnay wine recommendations. So for our Chardonnay recommendations, we split it up into a more expensive wine, a medium priced wine, and a lower priced wine, so we can hit all price points. So first up, we have Gergich Hills Estate Napa Valley Chardonnay 2016. This wine is very bold, slightly dry, and slightly acidic, with hints of oaky notes, tree fruit notes, and citrus fruit notes. And this wine comes in at about $42, so it's a little bit more pricey, but worth it. And then we have Louis Jadot Huy Fousse 2018. This Chardonnay is medium bold, dry, and slightly acidic, with oaky notes, green fruit notes, and citrus fruit notes. And so when a wine says Puy Fousse on it, that means it comes from the Puy Fousse region of France, which is a sub-region of Burgundy. Now in Puy Fousse, Chardonnay grape is the main grape that they grow. So when you see Puy Fousse on the label, that means it's a Chardonnay wine. And this wine usually comes in around $27. And last, we have Bread and Butter Chardonnay 2018. This wine is very bold, slightly dry and slightly soft with oaky notes, yeasty notes, and tree fruit notes. And this wine comes in at about $14. And there you have it. That's everything you need to know about Chardonnay wine as a beginner. Did we miss anything? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you like what you see. We'll see you in our next video. Cheers. Cheers.